Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Debbie and I make weekly videos in English and Spanish, everything about lifestyle, self-care and beauty with an anti-aging focus. So if this is the type of content you're interested in, I would highly appreciate if you consider subscribing. As well, you can follow me over my Instagram where I share much more about my anti-aging self-care journey. I do IG lives where I discuss more into depth at different skincare topics and answer questions. In today's video, I will share with you all the supplements that I take on an everyday basis in order to complement my self-care routine. These are products that not only strengthen my body and provide different benefits to my overall health, but also they have a huge impact on how my skin feels, looks, and acts. And they're a key factor, especially when you have an anti-aging focus. With that being said, I think it is important to understand that these are not meant by any means to replace a well-balanced, nutritious diet. These are just kind of like to fill in the gaps. So just bear that in mind and remember that filling your body with the best quality of food, the most nutrition dense, is always going to be the best way to go. When it comes to supplements, I think a great starting point is to know exactly what you like. And that's why I encourage you to check out with your doctor before starting to introduce any type of supplements in your diet. I usually ask for a blood test and I try to do this um, twice a year so I get a better picture of what are those points that I need to reinforce. When it comes to my diet, I try to stick to natural, non-processed foods and I try to consume organic produce as much as possible, but it's been quite difficult, especially now due to the current COVID situation, to get access to certain foods. And that's why I think it is vital for me to have a good supplementation regime, just to make sure that I'm not missing from any essential nutrients in my body. Okay. First supplements I want to talk to you about are probiotics and I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory here. Around a year and a half ago, I started having some symptoms such as strong headaches, um, dizziness, brain fogginess, bloatiness and food sensitivities. These symptoms progress into more severe ones such as like really sharp abdominal pain till the point that I will faint. So I started to get really worried and I went to my doctor. I did a full checkout and we discovered that I was suffering from a condition called sebum. And this is when you have an overgrowth of bad bacteria in your body, which kind of like intoxicates your whole system. The doctor gave me a treatment with antibiotics for 15 days and then you have to start taking probiotics for the next three to four months. So I start taking these enterogermine probiotics. These are small ampules like this one. The probiotic comes in a liquid form and you have to take one before each meal. There's so many different factors that can cause this sebum condition, um, especially if you have chronic diseases such as diabetes running in the family like I do. That's where I understood how important gut health is and that it not only can affect your digestive tract, but your whole body. So from time to time, I try to introduce these probiotics into my supplementation regime. Um, when it comes to probiotics, you always have to try to mix them up. Don't always be consuming the same product. You need to get different types of bacteria into your system. Um, but the best way to go would always be through your diet. Consuming fermented foods like kimchi or uh, probiotic rich foods like yogurt, kefir is another great option, um, apple cider vinegar. Including these ingredients, these products into your daily diet is just a great way to keep um, the good bacteria and the bad bacteria balanced in your flora and just have a good overall gut health. The next supplement that I take every single day without fail is vitamin C. This is a potent ingredient that is a fantastic antioxidant that protects us from free radical damage and other environmental factors such as UV radiation, pollution, and all of these are the main responsibles for speeding up the aging process in our body. So it is a key supplement in anti-aging. It boosts collagen and elastin production, it prevents iron deficiency, and it also lowers the risk of chronic disease. I take a thousand milligrams every day just to kind of like keep my immune system strong 
and being less prone to any viral or bacterial infection. There are so many different types of vitamin C supplements. You get it from different sources. I like to consume the rose heaps and the ester C. Um, they're pretty much the same. They just work in different ways in your body. So this is just such a wonderful shield for our immunity. So as we grow older, we start experiencing changes in our bodies and I'm no different. At 35, I started um, feeling some joint pain and my doctor recommended me to start taking a collagen supplement. This one that I take is from Sports Research and it's the Collagen Peptides Hydrolyzed Type 1 and 3 Collagen Powder. This is the flavored version, but it comes in many different flavors as well. There is a marine version of the same one, but I prefer this one because it doesn't change the taste of my drinks. And I really like it because I can easily mix it up in hot or cold drinks. I usually take one scoop a day and it provides you with around 12 grams of collagen. And yes, I have seen a tremendous difference on my hair, my skin and my nails. And of course that particular uh, pain is completely gone. Another great anti-aging supplement in my routine has to be omegas. And this is the omega-3. These are essential fatty acids that they just bring so many different benefits to your overall health and also the look and feel of the skin. Support the growth of good bacteria, so it promotes good um, gut health. It is a natural anti-inflammatory and its calming properties will help you with managing stress and of course avoid the disruption of the skin barrier. Omegas increase the hydration in the skin and when you have skin that is well hydrated, that is moisturized, it immediately diminishes the look and the appearance of wrinkles. But this is the type of product I kind of like take on and off. It's not something that I consume regularly. Um, I try to get my omegas through my diet, but whenever my diet is quite restrictive for whatever reason, I always get um, a supplement like this. Another product that I always make sure to include in my daily diet, it has to be matcha tea. I discovered matcha a few years ago and I just fell in love with it because it is a great source of energy, but it doesn't give you those ups and lows like you tend to have with other sources of caffeine such as coffee. It is a richer, more concentrated green tea version. Um, it has kind of like a strong earthy flavor. As I said, it is a great energy source. It has antioxidant properties. It fights cancer and it is just overall such a wonderful um, ingredient to include on your everyday diet. On my Instagram, I have many different examples of recipes on how I drink my matcha, how I make my matcha. I like to have it in the mornings, right before my workouts. It has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and antimicrobial properties. There has been studies where they mentioned that matcha may help prevent cancer. It helps you to lose weight. So overall, it's just a beautiful source of antioxidant, important nutrients and energy. When it comes to matcha, it is important to remember three factors to choose a good quality matcha. Always go for ceremonial grade matcha. This is the most concentrated, pure form of matcha leaves. Color is another important indicative of the quality of the matcha. And I know that we will tend to gravitate towards the brighter colors, but when it comes to matcha teas, the darker, the deeper the green color of the powder equals the most high quality of matcha. And the last factor that I think everyone should consider before purchasing a matcha product is obviously the source. Um, usually I try to go for the place of expertise, so I try to get products that have been sourced in Japan. Another supplement that is super essential for me has to be vitamin D. 90% of the population in Dubai suffers from vitamin D deficiency. And I know those numbers are crazy, but that's the reality here. Um, and I think that's due to the fact that weather is kind of extreme here. So people don't really spend a lot of time, a big part of the year outdoors um, because temperatures are just insane. They reach 50 degrees 
and so we have to always stay indoors and be with the ACs. Under the current situation with the lockdown and not being able to travel for the summer and escape the heat from Dubai, our levels of vitamin D definitely struggle. Um, so I'm taking a supplement of vitamin D. Vitamin D regulates so many different functions in your body. It helps with bone density as it helps your body to absorb calcium, it fights cancer, inflammation in the body. It's just such an important vitamin. And of course, you can get vitamin D from your diet and sun exposure. Due to my vitamin D deficiency, I started to lose a ton of hair. And so I complemented my supplement routine by adding this Biotin 10,000 supplement. Um, I take one capsule a day and it has helped tremendously with boost the growth of my hair and it also has strengthened my nails. So I have seen very good results with this one. I feel that my hair looks fuller and it's just growing much quicker than before. And the final supplement that I take is this combination of zinc and magnesium. And these are two minerals that are super important for your body because they just help with regulating your sleep. It helps a lot with muscle recovery. It promotes healthy hair, skin, and nails. And it also, it's a mood regulator, so it fights depression. It is an essential component of our bones, so it contributes to bone health and cardiovascular health as well. Um, it is a great combination. I drink it every night just to get a better night of sleep. Um, and as well to recover my muscles from my morning training. So those are all the supplements that I take on a regular basis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was like that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!